What do you think? Should this father let him back into the house? As long as the son works hard to pay his father back, then he should be able to get a place at the family table again. Right? Let's see how Jesus ended this story. The son decided to return, admit his wrong, and ask his father for a minimum wage job. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And you go funny Lungu. And we are funny, funny Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction, but before we get into the reaction, because we wanna thank everybody out there who will be subscribing to our channel, you the realest MVP. And if you want to become a Patreon, there's a link below in the description. Just click that link, become a Patreon, and uh, there's some exclusive videos that we will drop and probably you won't be able to see it here on this channel but you'll be able to see it on our Patreon. I mean such an amazing video. Most of them are reaction videos. Maybe some can be uh, also our podcast. We might we will also be putting on the Patreon too. And if you want to see, if you want to listen to our, our podcast separately, there's a link below and uh, we have two, uh, two form of, of of uh, what media which is iTunes and Podbean you can check that you can check them out iTunes is for the people who have iPhone and then Podbean is for people who have Android phones and I feel like we are trying to make it like uh, flexible for both both parties anyway so uh, thank you so much guys for I mean we want to thank everybody out there who've been able to just watch our videos share our videos Comment down below. All the people who've been commenting, you are the realest MVP, and the people who've been giving us immense reaction videos, you're also the realest MVP. What do you think? You think it's a good thing to have people giving you reactions? <clears throat> do you think you feel it's something to? I mean, it's the best thing that can ever happen to us. Yeah. It makes things easier. We know what you want to watch, so we do it. But sometimes it's tiresome, yeah. Huh? It's tiresome, like. Really, really, no, not us. There's a lot of pressure. No, there is pressure because sometimes you find we're so busy and we don't get to do some of the things, but we yeah. do most of the suggestions. Exactly. So anyway, guys, today we're going to do another reaction, and this one right here was was suggested by uh, a, not a lot of people, just just some people, and this is uh, we're going to react to what makes Christianity different from other religion, and it says. Illuminate episode 3 or something. So anyway, without any further ado guys, let's get it. Isn't Christianity at its core the same as other religions? If you could put it in a pot and boil it down, wouldn't the remainder smell, look, and taste the same as Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, and the rest? What is religion? Just as we refer to our minds as being thoughts and ideas beyond the electrical impulses of our physical brain, the major religions propose that the human's true essence is their soul instead of their physical body. But just like our physical bodies, the soul also has needs or it will starve. Each religion proposes to be a guidebook of that spiritual plane that helps lead our starving souls to soul bread. Aren't these guidebooks all the same? The historical Jesus of Nazareth told a story about a father, two sons and a family business. It was custom that the sons would split the business when their father died. But the younger son said to his father, I can't wait for you to die. Give me my money now. Seeing his son's true heart, the father gave it up to him. The son turned his back to his family and hit the road. Far away, he partied like an animal, eating and drinking and paying prostitutes until suddenly his pockets were empty. In desperation, he found a job feeding pigs, but the country's economy crashed and he couldn't even make enough to feed himself. Now broke and starving, he found himself craving the pig's slop when it suddenly hit him that there was probably food back home. What do you think? Should this father let him back into the house? As long as the son works hard to pay his father back, then he should be able to get a place at the family table again, right? Let's see how Jesus ended this story. The son decided to return, admit his wrong, and ask his father for a minimum wage job. But still a ways from home, his father spotted him and ran out to him and wrapped him in a bear hug. Remorseful, the son began his plea. Dad, you shouldn't even call me your son anymore. But the father put a fine robe on him and a ring with a family crest. He told his workers, get the best meat and prepare a welcome home feast. For this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. 
Although Jesus told this as a story, he was actually presenting his view of the truth. In the story, the Father represents God. So is Jesus seriously teaching that God forgives selfish gluttons before they've repaid their wrongs against him and others? Judaism teaches that one can atone for their wrongs by changing their behavior, praying, and doing good deeds. Islam says we can move towards paradise by performing the five pillars. Hinduism claims that if we store up enough good karma, we will reunite with Brahman. Buddhism says we can enlighten and discipline ourselves into nirvana by practicing the Eightfold Path. But in this story, the father embraced his son and fed him before he did any work. Why? Because in Jesus' view, it's impossible for a person to repay God for their bad deeds. God is a perfect judge who cannot be bought off with anything that we have to offer. Jesus said that when we die, we will face God with all of our deeds laid out. None of us is completely morally perfect, and none of us will stand a chance of justifying ourselves. Then is there hope for us? Jesus believed so and staked his life on it. He claimed to be God in human form who came to pay our moral debt with his innocent life, so that if anyone truly believed and surrendered to him, they would receive a full pardon from God and the power to change how they live. Other religions teach that our own self-sacrifice can pay our debt, but Jesus taught that only God's own self-sacrifice can pay our debt. All other religious founders claim to be guides to lead our starving souls to bread. Jesus claimed to be the bread our souls star for. Christianity believe that the sorry, Christians believe that um, Jesus washed away their sins. So when you're born, you're already like you're born with no sin. I get it. But other religions, I don't know about other religion, but uh, most of Islam believe that when you're born, you have sins already. So you have to to make yourself become righteous. I think. That's the correct way or something like that. Uh, I mean, there's some differences, but the main thing here about these religions that they have mentioned, like Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, we all worship one God. So, I mean, we all, our aim is one God. Just maybe the difference is just we have different ways of getting there to a force. What? Like we have a different ways of getting to the to the to the creator. I have to agree with you because I was thinking the same thing you just the same question you've asked today, like are these do these other religions consider to be born with sin or do they think when they are born they're forgiven? Another thing another point you made was what um there's no big difference in all these religions. Because no. at the end of the day, it may be two different stories, three, five different stories, but the lesson is still the same. At yeah, the end true. of the day, it's still, still the same. Sure. I believe, like, Allah, God. Because, wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry. Sorry. because if you look at this story, um, the son couldn't wait for the bird to die, yes? Yes. So he went out, partied, whatever the case, but then at the end of the day, he humbled himself so the father would come to him mm -hmm. back. So the father was representing God. Yeah. yeah, according to what they were saying. What I was trying to say is that um, uh, Allah, God, Shiva, or any other uh, gods in Hinduism or whatever. I mean, I believe like our creator is not uh, a creator of. Uh, of, of, of religion, you get it. I, I mean, it's not, it's not the, the the it's not a force that wants to 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 to, to you know um, indulge in religion, or whatever. But just because we have religion to guide us to uh, to Him, then well and good. But 
uh, I don't know, you feel like we need religion to go up in heaven? They said there's no fire, uh, there's no smoke without fire. Mm -hmm. So they should be, it doesn't matter what religion, there should be some truth to religion itself. Yeah, the meaning of religion yeah. itself. Yeah, there should be. Because right now there's so much confusion separating us. Now there's yeah, so this, much, that, there's that, so that. much, and one religion says and like it's almost the same. It's almost the same, and you know, Too similar. And some of the religions say that we are the true, true uh, religion. So how how are we supposed to know that we are, the, we are the true religion? We just have to, I don't know. That's why you have to. I feel like you have to study everything. Now you have to study and find peace in whatever. And whatever sits well with you. For me, I believe any religion is a true religion. I, I I feel so not not the other religion of Satanism and whatnot. I mean uh, this religion that they have been that has been mentioned here because these four or five yeah because at the end of the day we still conform ourselves to the higher power. higher power you get it so somehow there are two religions you get it it depends on how you want to look into it what matters is love and peace yeah that's that's what matters anyway and respect. Yeah. You still have to respect someone else for believing something else. Of course, of course you have And to. then if you think that they are wrong, there's a way of educating someone. Like come slow, don't come aggressive saying you're wrong, you're going to hell, you're doing that. Yeah, the approach. So what do you, what do you think about this? It depends on what you want to see, because I'm just seeing a good-hearted man for giving that, that, what, that's that. That shows our parents never give up on us, by the way. Of course, I mean, your parents will always be your parents, whatever, even if you biggest are... Biggest support system. Biggest support system. Whether you're broke or not, if you want to go home, they always will come back. That's why some other people say, like, my parents are my God. You get it? People, some other people say that. Never hear that. You get it? Others say that my mom is... You get it, like... Uh, He's the only God that I'm, 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 I'm more like I'm, because he's the, she, like she's the one who brought you into this realm or this art or whatever. But anyway, people have different beliefs. Anyway, guys, if you feel like you can react to this video in a better way, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video over here. What makes Christianity different from other religions? Just let us know in the comment section below. Just tell us what do you think that what do you think makes christianity different from other religions and uh yeah feel free to just say something in the comment section below and also feel free to just give us more reaction we're going to react and we're going to educate each other i mean we're here to learn we're here to again find peace uh it's also funny how they say did you see all those religions say you have to do this so mm -hmm. that you get the bread yeah christianity says jesus is the he bread, is the bread yeah. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It all still comes down to one lesson at the end of the day. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. And the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep us subscribing, the more give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.